Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what the difference is between expressions and equations. So let's jump right into it here and we'll start with expressions. And expressions you can think of as math phrases. So they are part of a full math sentence, only part. And there is no equal sign and the variable can change values. Now on the other hand, equations are the full math sentence. They have an equal sign, and the variable has a defined or set answer. So let's look at some examples in order to make sense of that. So for examples A and B, we have expressions over here. So I'll write expressions up here. So as you can notice with those examples, we don't have an equal sign. They're a math phrase, not the full sentence, and the variable can change. So let's talk about that variable's changing value. So maybe we have x equals 5. So we have a situation where x equals 5, our variable. So if x equals 5, we would plug 5 in for x, and we would get an answer of 12. Maybe x equals 13. So if x equals 13, plug in and solve, we would get an answer of 20. So A and B, examples of expressions. Now as far as B goes, whenever you have a letter right next to your number there, so the number right next to the variable, it's going to be multiplication. And let's plug something in. Let's say D equals 20. So if D equals 20, we would plug in and we would get an answer of 60. So expressions, again, math phrase, not the full sentence, no equal sign, and the variable can change. So let's move to examples C and D. And both of these are equations. They are the full math sentence. They have an equal sign, and the variable has a defined or set answer. And a nice easy way to tell the difference between expressions and equations, equation sounds like equal, right? They're similar. So whenever you hear equation, you know those are the ones that have an equal sign. So let's talk about the variables. So in example C, we have nine plus n equals 11. The variable's value cannot change. We can't say that n equals five because if n equals five, let's plug in, that does not give us 11. There's only one thing that n can be. So let's solve here. Now you can probably figure this one out using mental math, but uh, let's isolate our variable here and subtract nine from both sides, and we get n equals two. n can only equal two. So that's what I mean by a defined or set answer for that variable's value. And example D here, we'll wrap it up by solving for R. Let's isolate our, our variable, multiply both sides by three, and we get r equals 15. 15 is the only value that r can have. It has a defined or set value. So there you have it. There's the difference between expressions and equations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.